Charles Darwin once said that light will be thrown on the origin of man and his history, and that light is now here from an unexpected source, our DNA, and the DNA of ancient humans that lived and died long before us. Paleogenomics is the study of ancient DNA to see how different species have evolved over time. The science allows us to peek into the genetic makeup of extinct animals, including extinct species of humans. Throughout the 1990s and into the early 2000s, the field exploded as better tools and techniques for sequencing DNA became available. But in 2010, the potential for paleogenomics to revolutionize our understanding of ancient humans and ancient human evolution, it became undeniable. Just seven years after after sequencing the human genome for the first time, a team led by Svante Pabo published the groundbreaking genome of a Neanderthal, an extinct species of human. But that's not all. The genome showed clear evidence that our species, sapiens, had hybridized with these Neanderthals. It was a revelation that truly opened an entire new story into the history of us. Ancient DNA opened a new window into our past, giving us tools to study the story of humanity at a detail that we never thought possible. But it didn't just add details. In many ways, it challenged old ideas. For decades, scientists had debated one of the biggest questions about our species, about us. Where do we come from? I'm going to read an excerpt from a paper that was published in 2001 just to give a quick idea of what this debate was so that we can understand the two sides and their claims. There are two major theories in this regard. The first, often referred to as the multi-regional hypothesis, argues that modern humans evolved in different parts of the world from earlier local populations. For example, Indonesian Homo erectus is thought in this scenario to give rise to the living populations in Australia, while the Chinese fossils are regarded as ancestral to modern Eastern Asians. The alternative theory, known as the single origin hypothesis, argues that living human populations are descended from recent migrations of Homo sapiens, probably out of Africa, who subsequently replaced existing groups such as Homo erectus. The full 12 minute video is posted on my YouTube. If you're watching this on TikTok, go to my bio, link right there, it's easy to get to, hit it in the watch later. It's 12 minutes or so. It's a good watch at night. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the music. If I should continue using music, I'm currently working on my next video, hoping to have it out end of this week, maybe start of next week.